Welcome to the If You've Got a Problem tutorial, a key part of the My Body Is My Body program. In this lesson, we're focusing on a crucial concept, identifying and reaching out to safe adults when children need help. Who is a safe adult? A safe adult is someone you trust, someone who makes you feel comfortable, and you know will listen and help you when you have a problem. During our previous tutorials, we've talked about reaching out to safe adults. So now we're going to go a little deeper and help children understand how to find and talk to their safe adults. It's important to give children examples of who might be a safe adult in their lives. Here are some examples. Mommy, Daddy, Granny, Grandpa, Older Brother or Sister, Auntie, Uncle, Teacher, Principal, Headmaster, Neighbor, Policeman, Mentor, Pastor or Spiritual Leader. Feel free to add anyone else from your community who you think might be a trusted figure for the children. Encourage them to think about who they would feel comfortable talking to and see if they can come up with more names. The importance of persistence. One of the most important messages we can share with children is that if they tell a safe adult about a problem and that person does not help them or listen, they should keep telling until somebody helps them. It's vital that they understand it's okay to speak up more than once and that they should never ever give up if they are not heard the first time. Talking about problems can be tough, especially for children. It's important to acknowledge that they might feel a range of emotions when they try to talk about something that's been bothering them or any abuse that might be happening. Embarrassment. It's okay to feel embarrassed. Lots of people feel this way when they talk about their problems, but it's still important to share. Difficulty finding the words. Sometimes it's hard to know exactly how to say what's wrong. Remind children that there's no wrong way to talk about a problem. Just explain the best way they can. Sharing in pieces. They might find it easier to tell a little bit at a time and that's perfectly okay. What matters most is that they keep telling writing it down. For some children, writing down their problems and giving it to a safe adult might be the easiest way to share or start the conversation. Encourage them to find the right method that feels good for them. The If You've Got a Problem song is a powerful tool to help children learn how to seek help and communicate their concerns by identifying safe adults and understanding that it's okay to feel nervous or unsure when you're telling about a problem it'll help children feel more confident when they reach out for support remember the key message is to keep telling and keep telling till someone helps you thank you it's really important to tell somebody if someone is hurting you or touching your private parts. Even if you feel scared or embarrassed, you need to be very, very brave and tell someone. There are so many people to tell. Mums, dads, grannies, grandpas, aunties, uncles, teachers, cousins, neighbours, parents of your friends, police, nurses and so many more people around you. Now if you tell someone and they don't believe you, they might even tell you to keep it a secret. But then you go and you tell somebody else. If they don't believe you, then you tell somebody else. You keep telling till somebody listens and helps you. Don't ever, ever give up. If you've got a problem, you don't know what to do. Go and tell somebody till they listen to you You've got to find someone To tell your troubles to If you've got a problem Find someone who'll listen to you Talk to your mom and dad Grand and grandpa too Your aunt or your uncle 
like a lawyer Teacher at school, you've got to keep on telling Till someone listens to you If you've got a problem, find someone to tell it to If someone has hurt you, you don't know what to do Go and tell somebody till they listen Someone you know or trust Sharing problems 